Hey, welcome back to the channel. Time for another Tools and Tech Tuesday. Let's talk about the HP OfficeJet Pro 9025. Now, before we get too far into this, I should say in full disclosure that I do sell these at work. However, I bought this with my own money and HP doesn't even know that I'm doing this video. So if you watched any of the previous videos, you probably noticed that there used to be a printer sitting right here. And there's still print a printer sitting right there, but it's a different printer and that's because the old printer died. So I checked and the print head is not available uh, directly through the manufacturer. I want to say it was like 100 $79 or something on Amazon and so I kind of figured for that kind of money I would rather just get a new printer so here we are the office jet pro 9025 let's unbox it see what comes in it okay let's open it Setup was pretty easy. You peel off a few pieces of tape, plug in the cord, and once you have that physical machine actually set up, it walks you through on the touch screen things like, please select your language. You selected English, please confirm. Things like that. You go step by step and it walks you right through it. I thought it was cool that the printer automatically detected that it needed to update the firmware and it did it on its own. I did get an error when I was setting it up, but it fixed itself. All I had to do was hit retry. All right, so let's talk about some of the specs on this thing. So first of all, it has two trays. So you can have regular paper in one, photo paper in the other, or envelopes or whatever you need. So you don't have to go swapping papers every time you want to go print you just select which tray. Second, you have this feeder on top. So if you've got a stack of papers that you want to copy, scan, whatever, you don't have to do, oh, here's page one, scan. Here's page two, scan. You don't have to do them one at a time. You stick the stack up here. Your originals come out here. 
your copies come out down here. So this thing's pretty easy to use. It's a touch screen, just like your phone. If you want to make a copy, all you have to do is hit copy, select document, and then hit copy. You can also, along the way, you can hit the little gear icon and change some of the settings. So this thing's going to scan at a 1200 by 1200 DPI and print at an even higher resolution. Here is what the menu looks like. Here are the accessibility options. I wish it had a way of enlarging the font on the screen, but at least it has a couple of accessibility options. So by default, this thing is going to go to sleep after a few minutes and take up less power. The downside of that is it can take a few extra seconds to get the first page out. However, once the first page comes out, you can expect it to spit out those pages at the rate of about 24 pages per minute in black and 20 pages per minute in color. Now it can vary from print to print because some pages can have more images or finer detail than others, but I'd like to show you what that speed can really look like in real life, so I'll print something out. This thing has air print built right in, so it's really easy to print right from my iPhone or my iPad. I'm going to hit print to let you see just how quick the pages actually come out. There it is. Another cool feature of this thing is that it has self-healing Wi-Fi. It also has dual band Wi-Fi, so it can also work with your five gigahertz network. Now, I should point out that there's a USB port right down here, and that's normally gonna be used for you to print from the USB flash drive or scan to it. However, I wanted to see if it would charge my phone and my iPad, check it out. Okay, let's see if this thing will charge an iPhone. There we go, it's charging. Okay, let's see if this thing will charge an iPad. So one of the reasons that I bought this printer is because I was really happy with its predecessor. One other reason that I chose this printer is because it's really affordable. I'm actually on this program called Instant Ink. And a lot of HP's printers actually qualify for this. And what it is, is you pay a price per month and they send you the ink and it works out to be a lot cheaper. Not to mention more convenient. It comes in a box like this. <clears throat> now, here's how it works. When I got this printer home, I set it up for instant ink. What happens is, even though this printer comes with full cartridges, HP mails me cartridges right away as soon as I signed up. So a few days later, I get the cartridges in that box. Now, I just set those aside somewhere. Once the ones that came in the printer run out, I stick the empty ones in this postage paid envelope. HP will recycle them when they get them and it triggers HP to send me a whole new set. So I've always got full ones on hand. Even if my printing needs all ever change, it's almost always going to be cheaper because, I mean, when you think about it, say the $3 a month plan, you get 50 pages a month. That can be anything you want, and that's more than enough printing for most people, and that's less than a set of cartridges. So, it, to me, it's just a no-brainer. Now, what's the verdict? Would I recommend this thing? Absolutely. I picked this thing up because I enjoyed its predecessor so much. And this thing just adds features such as the smart tasks and being able to scan both sides of the page at the same time when you put it in the feeder on top. So I'm expecting that I'm going to really enjoy this printer. You can print with your voice to this printer using Google Assistant or She Who Shall Not Be Named by Amazon. You can also scan to your phone using the HP Smart App. It's a free app that lets you do a lot of different things. Check your ink levels, 
you can scan and email directly from your phone. You can then save it to cloud services like Dropbox. One of the coolest features with this printer and the HP Smart App are these things called Smart Tasks. So Smart Tasks essentially allow you to set up a chain of events once and then after that you can go back and just do with a couple taps have everything happen all at once. So let's say you own a business and you want to be able to scan receipts, email them to your business partner and save them to a Dropbox folder and maybe save them to a different folder as well that's shared with your business partner. You can set that up one time and then the next time you go to scan a receipt all those times after that all you have to do is go to that smart task and it will do all those actions for you without you having to do each individual action. So there you go. That's been a look at the HP OfficeJet Pro 9025. I hope that helps. If you have any questions about it, drop them in the comments. Thanks so much for taking your time to watch another Tools of Tech Tuesday. See you next time. Well, Tim, I'm reminded of a philosopher who once said, the directions are only the manufacturer's opinion of how to put it together. Stay. Let's talk about the HP OfficeJet Pro. OfficeJet Pro? I think that's what I said. <laughs> dark there. Let's try that. This thing's pretty fit. <laughs> okay. So in the... It's like midnight and someone's got a motorcycle outside and it's like freezing skateboard right down here and that's usually going to be used to print from a flash drive or scan to the flash drive however i wanted to see if it would pr if, uh, now i should point out that there's a flat uh, flash drive yeah <sighs> said it again now i should point out that there's a flash i keep on saying that there's not a flash drive down there there's a usb port down there why do I keep on saying that? It was because I was really happy. Oh, HP will automatically send me ink. Although there's print, there ain't ink because the cartridge is in here. But HP sent me cartridges in that box already, and I'll, I'll put them in there. And I put the empty ones in this envelope and I drop it in the mailbox. It's post, it's post, <laughs> you can print with your voice from the, to the, and you want to be able to email them to your business partner, file them on a, on a quote. You want to be able to email them to your business partner, file them on an online call. Call? Why do I say call instead of the cloud? Okay, all you have to do is hit that smart task and it'll perform, perform. almost got through it <laughs> setup was peasy <laughs> speaking of that another feature is this, of the oops <laughs>